Hola, como estas? Why am I speaking Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> Why do I feel nervous? <laughs> anyway, I... I don't know what to say, okay? It's it's an influx of emotions. Let, let's start off with, y'all may see me cry, possibly. I, ain't re- I don't know about all that, because I don't really like crying on camera. It's probably why I haven't started recording earlier than this, but y'all might see me laugh, okay? You might see me laugh to keep from crying. You might see me cry. You, you, I don't know. There's an influx of emotions. I can't really navigate this thing, honestly. Grieving is weird, and I don't like it. I feel really uncomfortable, to say the least, but I think it's important to document this time of my life. I've been praying and my prayers have been (laughs) very different to say the least. A lot of the prayers have just been tears. We don't know what to pray for as we ought. (laughs) Moanings, groanings, tears. It's been a lot of that or I just don't have the words because literally what is happening Lord? What's going on? I don't know. I'm gonna just put y'all down. Put y'all down right there. Just put y'all down right here. Okay. Um, this is laundry. I'm doing laundry right now. But it it has been a month and change since the passing of our daughter and me being in the hospital. So I don't know. I haven't done a video. We haven't done a video yet. Recorded one explaining in depth what has happened, but. I'm sure possibly by the time this is up, we have, we will have posted something. Um, So I can, I guess, recommend going to (laughs) see that for more depth, but just um, in a summary for right now, because I don't know what we're going to do. If this will even go up, don't know. But in summation, I was 33 weeks on the day when I had a sudden onset of a severe case of preeclampsia. And it's, it was called HELP syndrome. I just basically started expelling blood. It just felt like a gush of blood. Sorry if this is TMI, but I'm giving y'all the real of what happened. Um, and I had to be rushed to the hospital because it was not amniotic fluid. It was just blood um, coming out of my vagina. And I went to the hospital, had a blood pressure of like 200 over one something. Basically, they had to rushed me into the OR to have a c-section our baby girl was born sleeping so she was still born she had the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck twice and there was a nu- nucle I think that's how you pronounce it nucle nucle whatever there was a knot in the umbilical cord as well so all that um I was in the hospital for a week in addition to experiencing all that my health was all of the levels off the charts protein in the urine um the levels for my liver the levels for my kidneys all off and i don't mean just off by a little bit i mean off like three times the amount it should have been um so all of that has happened that was april 30th (laughs) um it still doesn't feel real um i just started therapy yesterday with my therapist but as my therapist that I haven't really been, I haven't been in therapy for like two years. So basically the first session was just me catching her up on all the things and it's been a lot of things, okay? Um, so I'll probably just be diving deeper more into unpacking everything for real starting next session, but it's been a lot. And when I say a lot, it's not only this, it's like ever since we got home from our anniversary trip and I found out I was pregnant. It's like boom, 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 boom. Like thing after thing, after thing, after thing, after thing, after thing. I'm talking like nothing stopped. Even in the hospital, we're also in the process of obtaining our first home. That didn't stop. Life does not stop just because a tragedy happens. So it's like, it's just been crazy all around. And I, I would be lying if I said my faith hasn't been tested. Leaving the hospital and knowing it's supposed to be your first ride home with your baby, but also having the duality of feelings of like, Lord, I'm grateful. You saved me. You healed me. But I also don't have my child. 
I'm not leaving here with my child. It's really, really rough. And part of me feels like the Lord allowed me to go through like that brief period of, of having that um sickness because if he just would have just only taken our child I would have been tight and probably like my whole mindset would have been different so it's like anger um disappointment feeling forsaken like all of those things all of those human emotions I'm I'm experiencing but it's also like Lord I know she's with you I know she's in heaven I know she didn't have to experience any sin I know that's like the greatest gift and, and peace of mind that you can have as a parent is just knowing that your child is like with the Lord and then also having like the thoughts of like Lord like why did you allow me to go through this entire pregnancy up to this point there are babies that survive at 33 weeks you could have saved her like why also not to mention today's June 7th I don't know when this will be up or if it'll go up but tomorrow is also one year since I had a miscarriage so around this time last year i was going through something similar not to the same effect but lord back to back so i'm just giving y'all the real of like all the different thoughts <laughs> that have been going through my head but um i still know the lord is good i still know he has me he's the only one that's been keeping my mind um in this situation <sighs> i'm still heartbroken but I know his word says he's close to the brokenhearted. I just have a lot of like questions. And again, it's like he doesn't owe me any answers because he's God, he's sovereign. His will is his will and that's that. I think just like the human side of me is just also just wrestling. And I've just been praying for peace because like, I'm just like, Lord, the scriptures that gave me peace and comfort basically during the entire entirety of my pregnancy I don't look at them the same right now and one of those was like and I said it in the video that I posted about us going to like get our first ultrasound and all that I said it I was like Lord a scripture that I've been holding on to was they that sow in tears shall reap in joy and I don't feel that way right now and it's just like experiencing death that close like literally that close within me like my daughter died inside of me and i'm going to need you <laughs> to help me process this because it's it's hard it's hard um that happened on april 30th i got discharged may 7th um i had a c-section which is major surgery so there was like a limited amount of things i could do i was healing in the midst of all that, being in the hospital, our family was helping us pack up our apartment because our lease ended on May 29th. So we moved out May 29th. I'm laughing because this is all crazy. We moved out May 29th. The lease for my car was supposed to end on June 20th, but the registration and the inspection basically needed to be renewed for the month of June. Didn't make sense to pay all that when the lease was gonna end. So turned in my car on the 30th not to mention we're in the process of like the final steps of securing the home we want waiting to close we were waiting for the 20,000 grant to come in that finally came in the day we were moving out we were waiting for the grant amongst other things okay fast forward grateful that um my mom and love is allowing us to stay here it was just like lord okay our daughter then a month later, it's like the first place that I moved to down here that I've built memories in by myself and with my husband. Um, ended traumatically in there, honestly, with everything happening with before I went to the hospital. But it's like bittersweet of letting that go. Then I'm turning in my car. So I'm just like, I feel very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable, to say the least. And it is giving Job is giving joke very much so i was trying to fight that but it is and i'm just like lord <laughs> i don't have the words we are currently still waiting for everything to process with 
obtaining our home, we're in the middle of trying to contact the IRS and daily being on hold for, for hours because our taxes, they don't see our taxes in their system. I cannot, I cannot make this stuff up, okay? The underwriter needs that, obviously. I don't have, I don't know. I just don't know. <sighs> Today, for me personally, was a good day compared to earlier in the week. The cycle came back almost, okay, five weeks, but I was, I was expecting a little bit more time. Don't really know why, because I'm not breastfeeding, but it's like, even with that, I have like all the reminders of a baby, like a C-section scar. My milk started coming in. I had to do the whole cabbage thing to stop it. Um, my body looks completely different. I have stretch marks, you know, and you see all these things and you know you're going to experience all these things possibly while you're pregnant and you're just like, well, I'm going to have my baby at the end of it. So to not have your, like, child physically, it, it does something to you, you know? So just, like, processing that. And I'm just like, Lord, I need you. I need you. Day by day. So yeah, with my cycle coming this week, this week is just, I was in emotional wreck, crying daily, every day. And honestly, before I started recording, I was, I put this memory card in my computer to see like how much memory I had. And it was basically the memory card I was using to vlog a lot of my pregnancy journey. And I'm like debating on whether I should post um, those videos still and still do like highlight those vlogs. Because I don't want to feel like, I know how I am. I'm a very, like, out of sight, out of mind person. And that's kind of how, like, I cope and process things. And I don't want to do that with our daughter. We named her Skylar Simone, by the way. I don't ever want her memory to just be, like, disregarded. So, like, in a way, I don't know if it'll be therapeutic for me to edit these videos and post them. I also don't want to confuse y'all, but obviously I would put a note in the beginning of the video explaining X, Y, and Z. And it would be after I explain X, Y, and Z, like what happened in totality, and it would be up to you, whoever's watching to continue watching it. All these things, like, I would do it in a way that makes sense. And ultimately, it, it ain't about nobody else. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it like that. It ain't about, it ain't about nobody. Ugh. If it's gonna help me and my husband. He agree. It was gonna be. But yeah, I was thinking about that too. But it's just like I have a lot of thoughts these days, you know. I am glad I started therapy though. So it's still pro I'm still processing that I literally could have died. I didn't. I didn't really. That didn't really register with me. Um, but it. And process, starting to process it, I am just like looking at life differently because I'm like, oh, before like before they put me under that general anesthesia, I could have woke up in heaven. I wasn't thinking about that, but he gave me one more, one more chance. Like that's that's real. He gave me one more chance, and I'm just like, Lord, like how how do you want me to go? About? Like ultimately, I know, like my husband and I know that this is not only for us. We know that it's for one of y'all out there, or a couple of y'all out there, or multiple people out there, whoever. We know it's not only for us, but I'm just like, Lord, like, how do you want us to go about this? Like, how am I, so, like, what, what is the purpose of this? What, what do you want to do in my life? What is it that you are birthing through this death? And how, show me how you're going to get glory out of this. I've, we've already seen and I've already seen his hand in this process in a lot of different ways. But it's like, what's going to come of this? How? We know all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called to his purpose. What is the purpose? Questions? Mm-hmm. So, that's where I'm at. I feel like I'm rambling, but I feel like it makes sense. Um, but yeah, I guess this is video number one. I will see y'all in the next one.